I was 61 when I began playing, and it's never too late to pick up an instrument. It, the narrative that you have to play, learn to play an instrument when you're young, it is just not true. It is absolutely not true. I'm Teresa Holland, I go by tree. I'm from Austin, Texas, and I began playing the violin last December, December 2020. I played as a child uh, for a short time. I had a teacher who was prejudiced. I was like the, the little brown girl in the classroom. It wasn't a lot of fun. And I used to carry my violin to school and I was really proud, but he, he really chased me out of music. And then I didn't have the family support that I needed as a child. So I, I just stopped playing. And then about two, three years ago, I was at a friend's house and people were jamming and there was a woman playing the violin. I was like, darn, I wanted to be in there playing music with them, but I didn't know how, so I couldn't. During the pandemic, I decided, you know, I'm gonna stop regretting not playing the violin. Drove to the first music store, got a student violin, went on YouTube, and started playing open notes. I was watching music videos, um, watching videos of an, with an online instructor, and then I decided looking through apps, and I saw Trolla, and I saw the ratings. I went onto YouTube and did research. <laughs> I read all the reviews, and that night I bought a subscription for one year. The first lessons were with Katie. They were simple to understand, they were informative. I liked th that it helped me with my bow hold and positioning of the violin. Okay, I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. And when I first began playing, all the pain would shoot into my shoulder. Uh, that's where I carried my, my, my pain as a child. So I'd have to stop and after six or seven months, the pain is gone. It's, uh, I'll get emotional because after carrying around something for decades and you go as doing something as simple as playing a string instrument, how you can get lost in that and how you can have a real moment with yourself. It's peaceful and it's beautiful and it's helped me overcome a lot of trauma. I, I can't imagine how wonderful it's gonna be when I can really play. <laughs> I hope most people don't wait. I hope they just pick it up and it helps them get through the layers. But I've always gone to symphonies. I've always loved classical music, but I don't necessarily want to play classical music. And I think that's what Trolla offers me versus the Suzuki method is which how I began. I want to be able to play some contemporary music. I want to play the sound of silence as they do in the band Disturbed. <laughs> You hear these things in science, how playing an instrument is good for your brain. I really feel like it's made my brain sharper. The notes are clearer. I can go down and I can read the bars. But not only that, I just seem to be a little more astute in areas of, in certain areas of my life when it comes to organization. You know, I was never truly a really organized person. But it, but it seems to make a difference. Other than that, and then the only other thing is, you know, I'm, a, I'm giddy, I'm happy. It, is, <laughs> it, it brought me out of a decade's funk. My advice is not to be afraid of being judged. I think it's really important in life in general. We're, we're afraid that people are gonna think we're not good enough. We shouldn't be doing this. It's an old narrative. I think if you want to experience real joy and freedom in your life, pick up an instrument. If you don't like that instrument, pick up a different instrument. And if you find music's not for you, pick up a paintbrush, pick up a book. You know, it's the simple things in life that are really valuable.